Hi everyone and welcome to the Film Dirt Lounge. For the first time I've just watched Ex Machina, a tale about the use of AI directed by Alex Garland with a principal cast of Alicia Vikander, Oscar Isaac and Domhnall Gleeson. Really interesting story and quite relevant nowadays with the frequent talk of AI being heavily used in media at the moment. I think it's really important to go into this film completely spoiler free, uh, like I did. I deliberately avoided all the content online and reviews from other channels. And that's good because I've had a little look online just for production information to prep myself for this review. And there's images everywhere from other channels with revealing plot points showing which characters are actually robots. And it's so much better to go in cold like I did, especially for a, a film like this with twists at every turn. That's why when I post spoiler reviews, I put it in big letters on the thumbnail, even for old films for latecomers like myself. So like I said, there's a few really good twists in this story. And it made me wonder what is real and what is AI, because AI is so convincing nowadays. And this was made back in 2014. And much like the Terminator films, which dealt with a lot of intelligent robots in an extreme setting, but now it seems to be very real and very intelligent. So firstly, the design of the robots, absolutely outstanding. And the, the CG now is uh, absolutely seamless. You know, I didn't see anything glaring at me as being fake apart from the robots themselves. But the look of them is really convincing. This is the point now where digital effects really started to become photo real. And the moody cinematography helps as well, not only to balance out the visual effects, but to give it a real horror movie type setting. Now get that Nathan is a very intelligent man. He invented the world's best search engine and he's so rich he's got this retreat somewhere, very futuristic and very modern. And at first I thought that was my main fault with the film in that it just looks a little bit too extreme. He doesn't seem like a, a geek. He's working out and he's drinking alcohol. You know, two things which often don't go together. But for some people it works. And I felt that it was just a bit too movie looking. You know, when there's, there's key cards everywhere and the surfaces are flat and clean. It doesn't look like a real office space or home office. But then again, I realised that it's supposed to be an unreal setting and he is detached and it doesn't seem real what he's doing. Absolutely no one else is there. Doesn't even seem to be any roads going to and from the place. You can only get there and back by helicopter it seems. So maybe this futuristic log cabin retreat, whatever it's supposed to be, is intentionally unreal. And when I thought about it a bit more, I thought the roles here could be reversed. Domhnall Gleeson could have been the geeky looking creator that was based here and Oscar Isaac could have been playing the character just plucked out to take part in this study. But because the, the stereotypes are reversed here, I think it still works. And both actors here are really good. Now of course they were both in the Star Wars sequels. I didn't care much for Domhnall Gleeson's character there, it just looks a little bit too much a theatre production and just a little bit hammed up for the camera. It's probably bad direction, I think. But here he's actually acting. And also I saw him recently in American Made, and again, he's acting there as well. So he is really good. It just didn't really seem to show off his acting chops in the Star Wars sequels, which was a bit of a shame. So during the story, I really did suspect that every other person you see is an AI robot. And again, Nathan is in his own world. And is he going too far? And does he really have all the answers? And he's just using Caleb's character to just a perversion game of just finding out how he can stretch the limits of what he can do. The character of Ava, played by Alicia Vikander, she's absolutely fantastic. Very few emotions visually, apart from when the power cuts happened. And I was suspecting... Were they fake? Could Nathan really see what was going on? What's the trick here and what isn't a trick? And then towards the end I thought the revelation that Nathan was more honest than we thought. And he was right. She is using every tactic in the book that I guess he kind of 
develop the intellect for. This film makes a really good attempt at warning us how far AI can go. If you do make really intelligent artificial life, what are the limits it will do? And I know we kind of covered that in the Terminator films. <laughs> of course, when they come online there, the straight away they hit the button, don't they? I think the depiction here is that, like humans, we're really self-centered most of the time. We're generous to a point, but we're really selfish. And by leaving Caleb, you know, presumably to die with nothing there while Ava makes her escape, is she really evil? Or is she just doing what's best for herself? And, you know, can you be evil if you don't have any emotions or any knowledge of good and evil? She did, I guess, what's natural for a human, and that's just to do anything you can to overcome your limits. If you have to escape, you try and escape and leave the past behind. And the problem people always say is that AI is soulless. But is it still soulless if it's intelligent? You know, that's a really good study, isn't it? So again, as I said at the top of this video, I'm really glad I went in cold and no spoilers, nothing to taint my experience. So I really enjoyed this. And I'll give it four and a half stars. I can see very few faults, like what I mentioned earlier. I think small aspects were a little bit unreal, maybe in the two main male characters and how the retreat in the woods is presented. But as you watch more, I think it's all intentional. Everything here is supposed to be unreal, and that's the danger you step into. So lastly, I just wanted to add that because AI is quite prevalent in media at the moment, isn't it? We've just had a, a writer's strike which did involve AI as well. My other line of work does occasionally take me to TV and film studios as a publisher, and a few people I have spoken to have told me that there wasn't really a win either way with that strike. It was a compromise. AI will continue to be used, but there's safeguards in pay and how its use will affect various things. And as far as I'm aware, writers won't be replaced by AI script writing robots. Um, writers can use it. And I think that's an element of where they were at. But you can go too far with AI. There's a lot of AI content online now, and a lot of it isn't good, is it? <laughs> it really is soulless. So I think people will vote with their wallets and choose not to pay for things where the overuse of AI has really diminished the quality of the product and that we continue to see creative humans. Okay, thanks for joining me for this review of Ex Machina. Subscribe to the channel so we can talk again soon. All the best and take care.